Bro, the moment we've all been waiting for. We just learned a pulso. And uh, the required level for getting a broom is apparently only six. We're not that far. It's a main quest line, so you can't miss it. You just have to keep playing through. We did go to the uh, Forbidden Forest on a huge, like, quest. It was, like, probably almost an hour-long thing. Lots of big loot upgrades. Definitely check that out. I would, uh, I would definitely check out uh, whatever I named that video. I don't know what I named that. Oh, I named it how to get the armor skin that I'm wearing right now because I figured that would be a highly searched term. But uh, anyway, yeah, that's a really long quest of uh, me playing through naturally and uh, unlocking a challenge for the plate armor here. But we're about to get our broom, dude, and I'm Everybody super excited. Grab a broom and we shall get started. All right. Cue the cutscene. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Oh, hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Boo. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up, firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up, 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 you stupid ratty school uh, Ah! Up. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. If you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Okay. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take Bro. care. The brooms are school property. <laughs> I want them returned in one piece. Wish I had my own broom. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> Hello! Nice day for a flight! Huh, that wasn't too bad. Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. This is stinking beautiful. Oh, this is actually beautiful. Whoa! Our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. Excuse me? Uh-uh. Ah. Yeah, oh. Aha! Brilliant! I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We met in the common room. I'm Everett Clopton. 
So, care to join me for a bit of high flying fun? Sure. <laughs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. I don't think the choices he make nice really matter. Up, it's all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is ever flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part Hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tall Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Oh, dude, that was Let's loud. I thought that was the owls. I was like, why does it sound like an eagle? and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. How? Oh, it's been. And where have you two been? Oh, caught red-handed. Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you no, for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. No it regrets. Was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. I wonder if I can buy him one. So I fly around with me. All right, so I'm almost level 10. Very close to level 10. Uh, did we Let's see what we got going on here? Oh, wait, I unlocked something here. Legendary Armored Attire. Uh, what does that look like? Wait, what? Oh, it's probably under outfit. Let me take the armor off. Ooh. Bro. That's actually really cool, dude. For some reason, it looks really cool with this helmet, as goofy as it is. Bro. I don't really care for this hat that much, man. It's kind of goofy, honestly. I think it's probably especially goofy with a mask, but like, at the same time, it kind of looks oddly cool, but I don't know, dude. Like, I think this mask might actually be cooler. I'm gonna look like this for a second, I think. Change it up later. 
Um, all right, I'm going straight to the broom shop just to see if it's unlocked now. I guess he said I could go, so I'm assuming it's unlocked. All right, we are right outside of Spin Twitches. Spin Twitches. Oh, new face. Wonderful. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Alby Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Alrighty. Sounds quite what you got. Of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? Uh. I don't think so. They're all the same price. Uh, I'm. Assuming there's not like different stats and stuff on wands, I think it's pretty uh basic. That so. item is of the highest quality. You can actually preview them, okay. That one's actually pretty cool, bro. That item is of the highest quality. Uh, I wonder how many people are getting the first one just because that it looks cool. Like to me it looks cool. I don't know, this one looks kinda cool too though, like the way it's shaped. And like the purple grip and the purple seat and the lantern in the front. I don't know. This one's kind of cool. The wind wisp. That Ember Dash. Is the I'm going with the Ember Dash, dude. I think that's the one that I want. The Ember Dash. I think that's the one. You'll be thrilled with that broom. I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Okay, I guess we can't summon our broom in town, but you hold tab or whatever your menu is for your quick slot items, and then you press three or whatever the button is off to the side there. It'll actually show you. It's super easy to summon this. It took me a minute to figure it out. But we're free flying in Hogwarts Legacy and it actually feels really cool. We are going to go sightseeing for a little bit and then uh, I'm going to progress it in the main quest line or whatever is in front of me. Uh, hopefully you guys got what you came here for. I'll catch you guys on the flip flop.